Hi, this is Nancy with Design Inventions, and today I'm going to um, color this really cute little turkey. The turkey is from Whippersnapper Designs, and we're going to be using the following markers. We're going to be using E33, 35, 37, 29, R24, 27, and 29. YR 21, 24, 27, Y32, 35, 38, and then for the hat we'll use some N3, 5, and 7. I'll probably go in with my black multi-liner just to uh, do some little detail black. But this is a Whipper Snapper Designs and this is a stamp. So we're going to get started on him now and start coloring him. So I've I've gonna do him um, with just some basic fall colors again. I'm gonna do some red feathers, some orange, and a little bit more of a golden and then up into the yellow and he'll be a basically a brown turkey. Okay. So I'm going to start it doesn't really make any difference, but I think I'm going to actually start up around um, his head with the with the more yellow uh, markers. So those are going to actually be your 32, 35, and 38, the Y series there. So we're going to, you know, do these tonight and usually pick some of the lighter colors. So we're just going to come in here and color. And again, this design will have some little bit of, um, what I guess I some shadowing at that point, you know, coming out of here. Uh, a little bit darker down into the bottom here. And just kind of bring in some of that color up. And work my way back just a little bit. And then the 32. So we're just making his feathers a little bit lighter there at the top. Okay, we could add a little bit where you know, they're there. Okay, so we've done that one side. Now we're going to come over here and we're going to do this side over here. And this is just kind of around his head. Again, it's just laying in some color is with my 32. I'm going to go in with my Y35. And we're pretty much just coloring here. And we're going around the turkey. And then I got a little color there, but it will be covered up with my uh, um, brown. And then I have my Y30A, which is, you can see, just a little bit oranger. Pretty much going to come around there, come back here with the 35, and pull that up just a little bit around his hat. And then we're going to do the Y32. Come on in here and pull some of that up there. So the tops. Okay. So those are his basic, uh, you know, his yellow type of feathers. A little more color right there. It's a little darker because of his hat. Okay, so those are the yellows at that point that I'm going to use in that series. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use the YR. So we'll use YR21, YR24, and YR27. And I'm using those just to get a little browner down here is what I want to do. So as I'm, I'm pulling this into the brown, the you know, down into the oranges and into the reds. So again, coloring this kind of like I would about anything. Just pulling it up at that point. Okay, now I'm going to use my YR24. 
And this is, you know, relatively dark. It's got a lot of color to it. Okay, and we're going to use just a little bit of, of the 27 just to kind of warm it up down in here. Okay, can come back up here with the 24 and pull that up. And then we now again have the 21 and we'll just kind of blending. And again, if you have a tendency that it's getting, if it's getting a little heavy in there, um, don't go quite all the way to the edges so it doesn't bleed out. But he's just a little darker. I'm looking at the saturation that I have on the back, and that's, you know, about what I do have. If you have problems when we get to the red even, um, I can show you a trick where we can add a paper towel underneath there, and sometimes that absorbs some of that. Just kind of pull in some more of that color up there. Okay. So now, this is still, let's kind of re-wet that back in here and again I'm putting in the 24 and put in a little bit of this 27 just to kind of get some depth down in there bringing the 24 back up and feathering some of that out Okay, and then we have the 21 where we're kind of working that through. Just trying to make that blend there. Again, if you had to, you could do a little tip-to-tip -tip blending or palette blending, and that would make it blend. So there we've, we've come down and we're, we're using the, um, you know, the brown tones now to get him into the brown tones. So now what we're going to use is we're going to use the, these two will be the orange ones. And on that I'm using YR04, 07, and 09. And again, we're going to just do one. There's a little spot right here that you can see that I believe that's that should be brown because that looks like kind of the back rump of his little body there. So we're not coloring that. It'll be brown. So this is the YR. 04. We're laying that down first. And keep my markers out of that camera there. This is the YR07. And just a little bit of depth here for the 09. Working back up. Pulling a little bit of that 7. Just pulling that 9. And then we're going to do the 04 and pull that. And as I said, we're just getting on these edges, blending that. So we're adding a little bit of depth there. Okay. Sometimes I need to turn my images, and it probably would be better that way. You'd get a much better camera view at that point, wouldn't you? Okay, so. And coloring this feather. Same as I did the other feather. Just kind of making some strokes to get that ink in there. Okay. Then we're going to go to the 07. YR07. And just pulling a little bit of that in there. And we're going to get that YR09 just to get that base. Shadow this just a little bit on that side. Okay, now we're going to pull with the, those seven again. And we're just going to move this to blend with the 04. Bring that out and then move it up to the top again. I'm being very careful just with my tips. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we are going to do the, the red. Okay, so we have his red feather at that point, and I actually, yeah, we'll do the red feathers first. I was thinking about doing his legs, but we'll do the red feathers. Okay, so starting with an R24, and again, just working, 
And again, this, his, his legs are going to show some shadow. So I'm going to kind of trim around him a little bit, but just get in between him here. Coming up about this far. Saturating that. Okay. If we wanted to get him a little darker, we could go a step further down, but I didn't want, I wanted to make him a, a little brighter if I could. So I'm sticking with the 24, 27, 29. I'm not going to see a tremendous difference. I'm coming all the way up here, going a little bit in there. And then with the 29, a little more depth of color. Just want that depth down there. Now I'm going to work my way back up, just kind of blending that just a little bit. And then finishing off here with my 24. So there's not a tremendous amount of difference. We could add a little bit of brown if we really wanted to. If we wanted to get that really, really dark down in there. Or we could come back in here with the 29 and just lay in a little bit more if we really felt that we needed more depth of color at that point. So now we're going to turn him around and I'm going to do his other leg and or this other feather over here by his leg and we are going to just trim around here. Again, I'm just kind of using the tip of my marker getting back down in here around these little areas very lightly just using it to trim around these things okay. then I'm going to go back with my 27 my E27 Pull in the color. I think it'll be darker back down in here and here. I am getting a little bit of red, it looks like, on his foot. But again, we're going to go over that with some brown. And then the 29. We want it to be a little darker down here. There's, you can see there's some shading lines somewhat on there. that way back in there and then coming back with the 24 if I pick up the right markers just blending that in okay so there we have the basic turkey he's been colored we're going to come back in a little while. We'll use the um, a few of the reds just to kind of do a little gobbler and things like that. But uh, that's uh, those are done. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use the E33, 35, 37, and, and the 29. I use the 29 because it's a little darker just to add some definition and depth on his legs. So we're not going to use a tremendous amount of the darker. I'm going to, you know, get him in there and get him colored up. So um, there's not a lot. And sometimes, you know, if things we can do here, I want to be sure I get this brown here. This back in here will be a little bit darker. Kind of laying in some color here. And he'll be darker uh, around his feathers. So we're just kind of around his little feathers and his little, really, can you really call them hands? No. But he's a funky. And I'm, I'm kind of drawing in circles because I really don't care that there's a little bit of texture in there. I'm okay with that. If there's a little bit of texture. I'm going in with my second color. Just kind of adding a little texture again. I'm just kind of making some small squiggly marks, but places that he's definitely going to be a little bit darker. You know, he's going to be, if he's kind of round, his belly's going to be a little lighter. 
kind of leaving these little hand things till the end. So now this is my darker color. This is my 37. And again, I'm just kind of adding these darker areas here. Underneath this neck, this will be dark back in here. Back side of that. I can't say that we kind of do this like a face, but we are kind of doing this like a face or, or some hair. Now I'm working my way back and just kind of blending in again. I'm just, I'm, I'm kind of adding that little bit of of texturing too. I'm just kind of blotting. I think that kind of makes it maybe, you know, not a solid texture. And now I'm back again with my E33, trying to keep a little bit of highlight right here on his little belly and just working it through. And again, I'm gonna color his little hands. What I call, I'm just going right over those. So they kind of stick out a little bit. And we can add a little bit of texture from the back side here just to give them a little bit of roundness. If that kind of helps blend them in just a little bit. Just working down my down my colors. And just coloring those in. Kind of pulling a little bit of that out. So, there you go. Okay. So, we're going to continue up here and we're going to do his, his head. His head's going to be done about the same way. And I'm kind of doing it a little bit like maybe I would do a, not exactly like a face, but I'm trying to, again, he's going to have. A little bit of shadow, but I, I think this turkey, I'm be looking at him straight on. I mean, to me, he looks like, you know, we're looking at him straight on. So I'm just kind of shadowing up around there. So I get a good a highlight maybe around his eyes. And again, I'm just kind of drawing in some circles, kind of giving it a little bit of a circle texture motion over top of it. It's not going to be perfect. I don't want it to be perfect. Make it a little darker up in here under his hat and down here. Working my way back down with my 35. Just kind of pulling a little bit of that color in. It's okay if he has just a little bit of texture like that. And then the last, come back with my 33, and we're just kind of there. Got a little bit of brown on where his little nose is, but that's going to wind up being the golden color. Okay, so we have that part done. We're going to actually go in with our 35. I'm going to make his legs the 35, but then we're going to add some 29 to them. Down just where they hit the body there. There's really not a lot here that we can color to make much shading, but I'm going to make them a little darker as they join where his body is. go in here and grab this 29 and just get a little more depth of color out of them there. Got some depth right where they they hit. And I can pull some of this out just a little bit. And we can actually take 
a little bit of that where his toes would come up and add a little bit more kind of color there so maybe they look like they're spreading out just a little bit. Just taking them out from these, kind of making a center section there. Just kind of feathering that up to where the top is. And you could add a little golden if you really wanted to, but I don't think that's necessary. You know, he's just a, a turkey and he's got some brown legs, okay? So, we've used those browns then. So now what we have to do is we've got to go back in here and we've got to do like his nose. So what I'm going to use for that is I'm going to, um, I'm going to start with my YR21 and we're going to make it a little bit see there's some brown I just kind of made that a little bit of that and actually I'm kind of going out of my little family here we're going to add some Y38 just on the side because I want it to have just a little bit of brightness on the side so that again is the YR21 and the Y38 okay now we're going to come in here and we're going to do his um little gobbler there. I call them gobblers. Okay, and we are just, this is the Y, I mean the R24. Okay, and then I'm going to jump to my uh, 29, and I'm just going to lay in a little bit down here, kind of as a shadow, a little spot, and then we can pop that in there. So now we have his hat to do, and I've just chosen to make him kind of a little pilgrimy kind of turkey. So what we have is we have um, a an N3, an N5, and an N7. You will use very little N7, but we're going to use this N3, and you know there's not going to be a lot of color up here on the top, but we're coming up here. His hat should have a little bit on each one of these sides and there are a little bit of a, of a shadowing there and there also is th there's a a little darker band there too make that kind of gray there okay and this is the N5 and we're just gonna just a little bit more just to add a little bit of color here Actually, just going to come up there. We're not going to add, you know. I'm just, I'm just going to draw just a little bit of a definition line. Not going to do much there because I don't need a lot of color on there. I don't need. I want this side of his hat since it's tilted to be a little bit heavier, or darker. So now I'm in here with my N7. Just pulling some of that color up here. And again, I'm going to give it just a slight there line. Okay, coming back with the N5. We're going to move it up just a little bit. And color in that area there. Just pulling that down a little bit. And now we're back with our N3 more and again I'm just barely going to touch that and then we're coming up here with this and around and there we go just a little bit more color just bringing a little bit more of that roundness up there now 
Um, you could use an N100, you could use several different things if you wanted to, but I have several of the multi-liners. Um, I have a multi-liner BS, which is a very, very, it's a, it's a tiny little script pen that I, I sometimes use. I like that a lot. Um, I can show you, it's um, actually a multi-liner SP, but you can see that it's got a tiny little, little uh, tip on it. You could use that if you'd like to. I mean, if you had that. So you can get in here and it's much easier to get in there and it's just with black. So you could use that. The other thing that I have is just my, you, the multi-liner pen and I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to color it because it's a small area and it's easy to control um, what I'm doing. So I've got the black right there. I am going to go back with this and I'm going to put a little more definition on his eyes. Again, this is the multi-liner, so I beef those up just a teeny bit. Okay. So basically, the turkey is done. We could add a little bit of, um, depending on what you're going to do, whether you're going to cut him out, you could ground him a little bit with some um, W1 if you wanted to. You could add some more shadowing around there. Um, I like to use glossy accents or a little glaze pen and I might make his um, little buckle a little bit shiny. But there's the little turkey from Whippersnapper Designs. I'm stuffed so he's ready for his Thanksgiving feast. Thanks for stopping by.